In April 2020, NASA uncovered a hidden cosmic Easter egg buried within the vast data of the retired Kepler telescope, Kepler 1649c. This mysterious exoplanet, located 300 light years away, is almost a twin of Earth, measuring just 1.06 times its size. It receives about 75% of the sunlight Earth does, with an average surface temperature of minus 39 degrees Celsius. If it has an atmosphere, its temperature could approach zero degrees Celsius, making a strong candidate for hosting liquid oceans, a potential cosmic habitable zone. What's even more astonishing is that Kepler 1649c shares an orbital bodyguard with Earth, an inner rocky planet, Kepler 1649b, eerily resembling Venus in our solar system. This planetary companion helps stabilize its orbit, increasing its chances of maintaining habitability. However, NASA has issued a warning. The planet's red dwarf host star frequently erupts with intense solar flares, which would tear away at atmosphere and wipe out any potential life. So, is humanity just one step away from a second home, or will it forever remain out of reach? The answer lies hidden in the starlight, 300 light years away. Welcome to Enigma Files. Let's dive in and uncover the truth. Kepler 1649c. This planet is located 300 light years away and was discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope, hence the name Kepler. Currently, the most advanced space telescope is the James Webb Space Telescope, designed to observe the edges of the universe. In contrast, the Kepler Space Telescope was specifically built to search for extraterrestrial civilizations. The name Kepler comes from Johannes Kepler, a 17th century German astronomer who lived during the same era as Galileo. Kepler is most famous for Kepler's laws of planetary motion. While the details of these laws may not seem crucial, what's important is that they inspired Newton to develop his law of universal gravitation. The Kepler Space Telescope was launched in 2009 and operated for nine years before retiring in 2018. A successor telescope has since been launched, TESS, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. Despite being called a satellite, it is, in essence, a telescope, like the Hubble Space Telescope. Kepler was an optical telescope that observed visible light. Because of this, it had limitations. It couldn't see too far or detect many celestial bodies, as it could only observe luminous stars. This made it seemingly unsuitable for detecting exoplanets. However, Kepler used a special method called the transit method to identify planets. Here's how it works. A star emits a constant amount of light, and Kepler continuously monitors it. Under normal circumstances, the brightness remains unchanged. But if a planet passes in front of the star, it partially blocks the light, causing a tiny dip in brightness. This dip, though extremely subtle, can be detected by Kepler. By analyzing the extent and duration of these brightness fluctuations, scientists can calculate the planet's mass, diameter, size, orbital period, and even its distance from the star. However, changes in a star's brightness can also be caused by other factors. So a single fluctuation doesn't automatically confirm the presence of a planet. Additionally, multiple planets may transit simultaneously, complicating the light variations. That's why the transit method requires extensive observations and calculations to rule out false positives. Much of this analysis was done by the Kepler telescope itself. Interestingly, Kepler 1649c was initially ruled out during the first round of analysis. It was only after Kepler retired that astronomers re-examined the telescope's vast data set manually. When they reviewed the data with fresh eyes, they discovered this Earth-like planet. Essentially, Kepler 1649c was found by chance, proving that even in astronomy, a bit of luck plays a role. While the Kepler Space Telescope was in operation, it simultaneously observed more than 100,000 stars, meticulously recording their light output. Imagine the sheer volume of data it collected. Yet, throughout its entire mission, Kepler only managed to identify 2,400 exoplanets. Among them, only about 20 were considered Earth-like and potentially habitable. In 2022, when Kepler 1649c was identified, NASA called it the most Earth-like planet ever found. Its size is 1.06 times that of Earth, almost identical. The amount of light it receives from its star is about 75% of what Earth gets from the Sun. This means that a full day on this planet would feel like a constant twilight. The average temperature on Kepler 1649c is around minus 39 degrees Celsius minus 38 degrees Fahrenheit. However, if it has an atmosphere that provides a greenhouse effect similar to Earth's, the temperature could rise by about 33 degrees Celsius 59 degrees Fahrenheit, bringing it close to 0 degrees Celsius 32 degrees Fahrenheit, a range that is not only habitable but even cooler and more comfortable than Earth. 
if its temperature indeed falls within this range. It significantly increases the likelihood of liquid water existing on its surface. Water itself is not rare in the universe. Astronomers have discovered it on numerous celestial bodies. However, finding liquid water is another matter entirely. Water in space is usually found either as vapor, boiling hot in extreme conditions, or as solid ice frozen on planetary surfaces. Only planets with temperatures around the freezing point, or those with Earth-like environments, can sustain liquid water. From this perspective, Kepler 1649 C's temperature is an extraordinary find. Moreover, the planet is located within a habitable zone of its star, the region where conditions could support life. Another fascinating discovery is that there is another rocky planet within Kepler 1649 C's orbit, similar in size to itself. This situation is remarkably similar to our own solar system where Venus, a rocky planet, lies just inside Earth's orbit. The presence of such a neighboring planet plays a crucial role in stabilizing Kepler 1649 C's orbit. The more stable a planet's orbit, the higher the chances of its sustaining life. These are some of the key reasons why Kepler 1649 C is considered highly Earth-like. However, much about this exoplanet remains unknown, and further observations are needed to uncover its true nature. The search for Earth-like planets has always been a major focus of space exploration. Besides Kepler 1649c, NASA has identified several other potentially habitable exoplanets. By comparing them, we can better appreciate just how similar 1649c is to Earth. But more importantly, we can also understand just how unique Earth truly is in the vastness of the universe. Let's take a look at Kepler 438b. It was discovered on January 6, 2015, and is located 470 light years away from Earth, slightly farther than Kepler 1649c. One of its most remarkable features is its Earth Similarity Index, ESI, which reaches 0.88. The ESI is a scale used to measure how closely a planet resembles Earth, based on factors such as radius, density, escape velocity, and surface temperature. The index ranges from 0 to 1 with values closer to one indicating a higher similarity to Earth. If we examine a chart of the ESI values of known exoplanets, we'll see that very few planets come close to Earth's characteristics. In fact, over 90% of all discovered exoplanets have very little resemblance to our home planet. With an ESI of 0.88 Kepler, 438 beholds a record for the highest confirmed similarity among known exoplanets. For comparison, Venus, often called Earth's twin, only has an ESI of 0.78. Kepler 438b is a rocky planet, about 12% larger than Earth. It orbits a red dwarf star at an extremely close distance, roughly half the distance of Mercury from the Sun. However, because red dwarfs are much dimmer than our Sun and emit far less energy, Kepler 438b's surface temperature is not as extreme as one might expect. It falls within the habitable zone of its star, and calculations suggest that its average surface temperature is around 3 degrees Celsius 37 degrees Fahrenheit. This makes it highly likely to have liquid water. When Kepler 438b was first discovered in 2015, NASA considered it the most habitable exoplanet found at the time, making a prime candidate in the ongoing search for life beyond Earth. Currently, the search for habitable planets revolves around a few key conditions, the most crucial being the presence of liquid water, preferably in vast quantities like Earth's oceans. However, despite initial excitement, just 10 months after the discovery of Kepler 438b, a research team concluded in November 2015 that the planet was unlikely to support life. The reason? Its host star erupts in violent flares roughly every 100 days, unleashing powerful solar winds. Given Kepler 438b's close proximity to this red dwarf, any water on its surface would have been stripped away long ago, along with its atmosphere. Without an atmosphere, any potential life forms would be directly exposed to lethal ultraviolet radiation making survival impossible. Over time, Kepler 438b would have become a barren world, much like Mercury. Other notable candidates for habitability include Proxima Centauri b, our closest exoplanet neighbor at just 4.2 light years away, along with Kepler 438b, Kepler 452b, Kepler 62e, Kepler 62f, and Trappist 1e. However, their conditions are quite similar to the exoplanets we've already discussed. But the next planet we're about to introduce is truly exceptional. It currently holds the highest known Earth Similarity Index, ESI, of any exoplanet ever discovered. If confirmed, its ESI could reach an astonishing 0.98, making it virtually a clone of Earth. This planet, also discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope, shares striking similarities with Earth. First, its host star is nearly identical to our Sun in brightness and size. Second, 
its radius is almost exactly the same as Earth's, just 1.04 times larger, a difference so small it's barely noticeable. Third, it orbits its star at almost the exact same distance Earth does from the Sun, meaning it receives nearly the same amount of stellar radiation. Its average surface temperature is estimated to be around minus 15 degrees Celsius 5 degrees Fahrenheit, compared to Earth's minus 18 degrees Celsius 0 degrees Fahrenheit. When all these factors are taken into account, the similarity rating soars to an incredible 98%. However, the data on this planet is still awaiting confirmation. If verified through further observation, NASA could officially declare it Earth 2.0, a true twin of our home planet. Yet, finding an Earth-like planet is not just about physical resemblance. A truly habitable world must also meet a series of external conditions. For instance, its whole star must have a long enough lifespan to allow life to develop and evolve. It should also have a large moon like Earth's to stabilize its axial tilt and maintain a protective magnetic field, shielding the atmosphere from solar wind erosion. Additionally, the planet itself needs an active core to sustain the geological processes essential for life. Initially, scientists were optimistic about finding another Earth. However, after nine years of observations by the Kepler Space Telescope, the data suggests a harsh reality. Even among the billions of planets in our galaxy, those that truly meet all the necessary criteria are exceedingly rare. This raises a profound question. Could Earth be truly unique in the vastness of the cosmos? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. It really means a lot to me. Your support is my biggest motivation to keep creating. Thank you, and see you in the next one.